This tutorial is answering a viewer's question. A long time ago, about 11 months ago, I posted a video, a Python basics video called uh, Calling System Commands. And basically, I was just showing you how to run commands you already know uh, from the uh, operating system you're on. Now, this is great, it's kind of a cheat, uh, but it makes your code a little best, bit less compatible in the way that if you're calling a code uh, in Linux you're fine, but then if you try to move your Python script, which in most cases can easily be transferred to another operating system like Windows, once Python is installed on Windows, um, if you use this it won't work because the system commands are different on Windows than they are on Linux. You'll have a better compatibility with like Mac, uh, Mac OS, uh, and Linux since they're both Unix based, but once you, if you use this little cheat, you go to Windows, it's, it's not going to work. But Anyway, let's have a look quick here, right here. So, in my temp folder, I can type ls, and obviously it gives me a list of my files. Anyone who's familiar with the uh, Unix command line knows that. Now, in the past, I showed you how to import uh, the OS module, and then you could do something like os.system, and then inside these parentheses and inside quotations, we can run a command like ls, and it outputs the the output of that command onto the screen but let's say you want to grab that information and process it more in Python well to do that uh, we would use a different module it's called the commands module so you don't need the OS module so uh, we're just going to import uh, commands and commands just like the OS module has a lot of features in it um, but I'm just going to show you a basic one that we're going over and that's running command like we just did but instead of displaying the output to the screen right away we're going to save it to a variable which later on you can process through but then we'll just print out to the screen in this tutorial so we've imported commands so now we can say commands dot get output and then just like before inside parentheses and inside the quotations will do ls and you'll see that right there it prints the information out to the screen a little bit harder to read than up here but that's because it's putting it all in one line and it's using a new line character instead of actually printing a new line and uh, that's fine because in most cases you're going to do something like this you'll create a variable we'll just create a variable called x and we'll say x equals commands dot get output and then our command is going to be ls. So we do that and you see nothing gets printed out to the screen uh, when we run that. But if I say print x, it will print the commands or the output of the command just like the OS command would. So using the commands module you can save the output to a variable and later on you can sort through it if you want to split at uh, these uh, periods or m search through uh, the output uh, whatever type of manipulation you want to do to the strings, you can now do with that variable, where with the uh, OS module, uh, it's more of just running that command and displaying the stuff on the screen. So, I hope that answers the question of this viewer, um, TARDIS2005. Um, and once again, that's just import commands. And then we would create your variable. We'll just call a variable called var equals commands dot get output. And then inside these parentheses and inside the quotations, we'll say ls or whatever command you want. We can echo hello. And now if we print var, it should print out ah, hello. And there you go. So I hope that helps you with your tasks. And I hope that you have a great day. Please visit the links in the description. And it's Films by Chris. Chris with a K is my site. All my videos are broken down into playlists there. As well as uh, on my WordPress site, you can search through some more of my recent videos. Have a great day.